chemical properties of hydrogen chemical properties of hydrogen so in that we are first one is reaction with the halogen is completed means whenever the metals are react with halogen gives metallic halides and next one is reaction with nitrogen gives nitrogen is reacted with hydrogen gives ammonia and next one metals so third one is reaction with them metal ions reaction with metal ion and metallic oxide metal ion and metallic oxide hydrogen is reacted with metallic oxide it gives cu plus 2 plus water molecule and next one is hydrogen is reacted with metal ion that is palladium pd plus 2 it is converted to pd lead and produce h plus ions so means the reaction with metal ion and metallic oxides this on here cupric oxide is your metallic oxide this is your metal ion and next one is reaction with organic and reaction with organic acids means in hydrogenation process the vegetable oils in presence of nickel catalyst it is converted to edible salt means vegetable oil in presence undergoes hydrogenation in presence of nickel catalyst it produce edible salt or in presence of nickel it gives a vanaspati vanaspati or oil this is a reaction with organic acid or and next one is for example this aldehydes r ch2 c double bond o h r this is our ch2oh okay alcals undergoes hydrogenation it is gives no product next aldehyde r ch2 c double bond o h undergoes reduction process this is converted to alcohol ch2oh means organic compounds undergoes reduction gives various products next one r ch with r oh means secondary alcohols undergoes reduction gives ketones means so this one addition of hydrogen so means here r c double bond o h so this gives r r ch oh okay so this is a reduction process means reaction with organic acid and next one is fifth one in chemical properties of hydrogen this hydrogen is reacted with oxygen molecule means di oxygen it gives water molecule means h2 plus o2 gives us h2o and next one is uses uses of dihydrogen <coughs> this hydrogen is used in in the manufacturing of nitric acid or nitrogenous substances are mainly used in the preparation in the manufacturing or preparation of ammonia 
that is n2 plus 3h2 in presence of iron gives ammonia the preparation of ammonia in laboratory process is called as haber process that is the first use and also it is used for the preparation of nitrous sir nitric acid and nitri nitrous genus substances next one it is also used in the manufacturing or the rocket fuel and next one is it is used for the oxyacetylene or oxyacetylene or the used in the torch light and next one is the dihydrogens are used in a welding purpose in industries and next one is these hydrogens are combination with various organic compounds it gives a various materials and next one in metallurgical process it is also used and also it is used in the preparation of methanols means alcohols and next these are the uses of dihydrogen and next one is hydrides next compound is hydrides means in first topic the position of hydrogen and preparation of hydrogen and next chemical properties of hydrogens and that hydrogen uses is totally completed and next compound next hydrogen compound is hydrides so these hydrides are generally the hydrogens are forms hydrides so means the beryllium is react with the hydrogen means metals are react with the hydrogen forms metallic hydrides beryllium hydride aluminum hydride lithium hydride like that so especially these hydrides are classified into three types they are first one is ionic hydride second one is covalent hydride and third one is stoichiometric hydride stoichiometric hydride this ionic hydride is also called as salt like hydride covalent hydride is called as molecular hydride and in that first one is ionic hydride or salt like hydride ionic hydride or salt like hydride means these ionic hydrides are produced from s black elements especially s black elements are forms ionic hydrides or salt like hydrides because s black elements are electro positive metals due to that these are produce ionic compounds and next one these ionic hydrides in a first year group elements lithium aluminum hydride is a covalent hydride except lithium remaining all are your ionic hydrides lithium hydride beryllium hydride or magnesium hydride these three are covalent hydrides but remaining all are ionic hydrides these ionic hydrides in solid state there is no conductivity these are the insulator in solid state whenever these ionic solids are ionic hydrides are dissolves in water this in during electrolysis process it conduct electricity now 
See our ionic hydrates, for example, NaH2 is there. This NaH2 is doing electrolysis gives Na plus H minus because hydrogen is carries it gaining of one electron, losing of one electron, getting same configuration. And next one is if it is at a anode, at anode the loss of electrons are takes place. It produces hydrogen gas and loss of two electrons. So these are ionic hydrides. Means ionic hydrides are produced from S black elements because electro pass to metals. These are soluble in water. And ionic hydrides are in solid state non-conductors in molten state means in liquid state during the electrolysis process these are conduct electricity and after this it is called covalent hydride covalent hydride Covalent hydride means these covalent hydrides are produced from a BP black elements. This covalent means the mutual sharing of electrons are produce a covalent bond. So like lithium hydride, magnesium hydride, beryllium hydride, diborane or methane these all are covalent hydrides the covalent hydrides are generally classified into three types these are classified into three types they are electron deficient compound hydride are electron prison hydride or electron excess or electron rich hydride so means the covalent hydrides are classified into three types one is deficient means less Pressure means constant. Excess means more. So electron deficient hydride, electron pression hydride, electron XX are electron rich hydride. Now see here electron deficient. Electron deficient means for example diboron is there. So BH3 molecule. The boron around the boron molecule only six electrons are present. It abstracting of two electrons it gets octet configuration so means the electron deficient compound example hydride is diborane this diborane is undergoes sp3 hybridization this is a dimer form its monomer is bh3 electron prison electron prison means that example now i am consider methane the methane is your metallic hydride that is your covalent hydride in this methane the sufficient amount of electrons are arranged around the carbon it gets octet configuration and next one is electron excess or electron rich hydride that is the electron rich or electron rich hydride example is ammonium in this ammonium the presence of lone pair of electron the presence of lone pair of electron here excess amount of electrons are present these excess amount of electrons are donated to electron deficient compound means this is the NH3 is act as a Lewis base electron deficient of diborane is act as Lewis acid so in this case the covalent compounds generally we used for the preparation of hydrides like for example lithium hydride is reacted with al2h6 
aluminium hydride it forms lithium aluminium hydride or lithium hydride is reacted with diborane it forms sodium borohydride or sodium hydride NH2 is reacted with diborane it forms sodium borohydride in the previous one is lithium aluminium hydride means the strong reducing agents are prepared from covalent hydrates that is your second classification these co covalent hydrates are called as molecular hydrates because these are involving in hydrogen bonding formation 